All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's your brother, Wild Ramya, back with another lesson. Lord with him. He be edifying. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wahabra Kakudash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And Shalom to the 144,000, the men you see on the highways and byways prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great. That's teaching the correct doctrine of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Also, Shalom to the 140, I mean, 144. But the one third, men, women, and children that will escape the judgment of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. And I, I want to touch in on this lesson, man. Esau is going to get a big payback. It is coming from the Almighty Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man. Because this, 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 this curse of of, of of slavery that we had to suffer, he's going to get it, and he's going to get it double, man. But the pain of us being in this this captivity. It's still in our people's mind and experience to this very day, man. Our people have truly not healed from the the, the curse of slavery, and uh, I want to get you know get this video. And as you see, this is a famous. I think his name is Jackson. Uh, I forgot Reggie Jackson, famous baseball player. He speaks of um, how he was treated playing baseball, man. So let's get started in it in, in this in this video, man. How emotional is it for you to come back to a play that you played with one of the greatest teams around? Alex, Alex, when people ask me a question like that, it's like coming back here is not easy. The racism that I played here, when I played here, the, the difficulty of going through different places where we traveled, Fortunately, I had a manager and I had players on the team that helped me get through it, but I wouldn't wish it on anybody. People said to me today, I spoke and they said, you think you're a better person? You think you, you, you won when you played here in Concord? I said, you know, I would never want to do it, want to do it again. I walked into restaurants and they would point at me and said, I can't eat here. I would go to a hotel and they say, then can't stay here. We went to Charlie Finley's country club for a welcome home dinner and they pointed me out with the N-word. He can't come in here. Finley marched the whole team out. Finally, they let me in there. He said, we're gonna go to the diner and eat hamburgers. We'll go where we're wanted. Fortunately, I had a manager, Johnny McNamara, that if I couldn't eat, if I couldn't, thank you. If I couldn't eat in the place, nobody would eat. We'd get food to travel. If I couldn't stay in a hotel, they'd drive to the next hotel and find a place where I could stay. Had it not been for Raleigh Fingers, Johnny McNamara, Dave Duncan, Joe and Sharon Rudy, I slept on their couch three, four nights a week for about a two, month and a half. Finally, they were threatened that they would burn the apartment complex down unless I got out. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. The year I came here, Bull Connor was the sheriff the year before. And they took baseball, minor league baseball out of here. Because in 1963, the Klan murdered four black girls, children, in 11, 12, 14 years old at a church here and never got indicted. It, it was, they were from the Klan. Life magazine did a story on them like they were being honored. It, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. At the same time, had it not been for my white friends, had it not been for a white manager, and Rudy, Fingers, and Duncan, and Lee Myers, I would have never made it. I was too physically violent. I was ready to physically fight some. I'd have got killed here because I'd have beat someone's ass, and they'd have, you'd have saw me in an oak tree somewhere. Reggie, I, I, well, I, I can't even imagine it's all. See, he spoke his mind. He spoke the truth, and they thought he was. <laughs> this is on Fox now. I don't say fair use, fair use. This information will be used for educational purposes only. But yeah, you see, it was on Fox, man. So they they didn't, they didn't think he was gonna take that route and speak in his mind the way he did, man. But this is not that long ago, man. What, what in the sixties? So that slavery, man. That slavery, that Jim Crow era. All this, man, has has been a a, a true. I say a true uh, curse to our people, man. They still suffer from it, man. He, it got uh, Reggie still remembers what happened to him. 
and what was happening to his people as well, man. So yeah, yeah, Esau has a hell of a lot to pay for, man, and they have no clue that they're finna go into hardcore slavery, man. Now I want to get this video, and this I'm gonna I'm gonna take myself out again, but this is a this is a heavy video, man. It says one of this video is sad and shocking, but it's American history, man. This is the history of Babylon the Great. Hi, it's Queen here. What I'm about to show you is shocking. I didn't come on here today to make any videos to heap more misery on recent black history. But then I was watching a video and this popped up and I froze it and I read it. And this will make you understand the terrorism of black people in America in the 20th century. On my screen popped up this newspaper headline. It's from a New Orleans newspaper. It says New Orleans State, and it is the um, 1927, one year before my dad was born. And it's telling the people that there's going to be a lynching. John Hartfield will be lynched by Ellisville mob at five o'clock this afternoon. And then it says, Negro jerky and sullen as burning hour nears. So this, pay, this newspaper is, is telling the people that they're going to burn a man alive and turn him into Negro jerky. This is a newspaper advertising the fact that there's going to be a murder. And obviously they know who is going to be involved in that murder. This shows you how powerless black people were in America. That this could be advertised on the front of a newspaper. So what would happen? Thousands of people would turn up to watch John Hartfield be lynched by this mob from Ellisville. This is why there was a mass immigration of black people from the southern states of America and they went north to Chicago and to New York to get away from this terrorism they were suffering. A terrorism so bad that they could do nothing about it that a newspaper could advertise what was going to happen at five o'clock in the afternoon so people could turn up and watch somebody be murdered. Be murdered and take photographs and take souvenirs. Not only would, was he going to be murdered, they were going to turn him into Negro jerky. They were going to barbecue this man and the newspapers is advertising it. And these people who are going to do this called themselves God-fearing Christians. They went to church on Sunday and they prayed and they were proud in their Christianity and they sang hymns and they worshiped the Lord. And then they went and barbecued a man and took photographs and souvenirs and postcards and had a picnic whilst it was going on with no thought of church and Christianity and the hymns they'd just been singing and the prayers they'd just been praying about your fellow man. Because at the end of the day, these black people in America were not fellow men. They weren't human, were they? They were just Negro jerky, sick. This is sickening. This is American history that they don't want taught, that they don't want people to talk about. They don't want black people to bring it up. There's a lot of black families in America. I'm sure there's some of you watching this video who have relatives who suffered this fate. And you understand the fear that your ancestors in the 20th century America, in the early part of it especially, the fear that they must have been suffering every day that's why they were so humble kept their heads down just stayed out of trouble didn't want to upset anybody because their fate could have been this and there's no law to protect them because a newspaper could advertise it on the front an editor of a newspaper could put this on the front knowing there would be no repercussions and nobody would come to him to ask him who murdered john hartfield it's sick And that's, and that's Christianity for you, man. And these Negroes, two-thirds, well, which they are two-thirds, man, because 
They want Esau to make it into the kingdom. After all Esau has done to their people, they want them to make it into the kingdom, man. And that goes to show you the Stockholm Syndrome is, is, is undoubtedly the truth, man. Because these people, my people are gone, man. They forget their history. And they use it all. Esau used it, he used Christianity as a, a covering to say they're, they're God fearing. And they roasting and killing you and your people. And <coughs> you thinking they <coughs> a God fearing person, man. <coughs> and you worship the same God. <coughs> you go into their churches and thinking this man is a man of God, man. The whole time, you could be the one that is barbecued the next day. And that goes into the, <coughs> the origins of picnic, man. Pick a nigga. So, man, Esau is the devil, man. But uh, Jay can't save Esau. His time has come to an end. His time is running very, very short. <coughs> <coughs> His time is running short, man. So let me play this video here. And uh, get some scripture after that. <coughs> See if I can go back and get it. <clears throat> Hey there, my family. This is your brother, Dana, and I'm coming to you from the city of Atlanta. You know, the decision today from the Supreme Court was not a shock to me because we know that every system in this nation, including the justice and the Supreme Court, was made to sustain, maintain, and above all else, protect white supremacy, white power, white privilege. But see, this is what my white family don't understand. And what they don't understand is the time <coughs> of us Gentiles is up. The time of the Gentiles is up, white family. So it doesn't matter about your military power. It doesn't matter about your president in the office. It doesn't matter even about the Supreme Court's decision to protect your white supremacy. Because the Bible says that the time of the Gentiles will come to a fulfillment. And you are the generation to see and witness the fulfillment. Luke 21, 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Those are our black brothers and sisters. And will be led away captive into all nations. That was our black brothers and sisters, ancestors that were taken into all nations by the Atlantic slave trade. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down by the Gentiles who are our current white Ashkenazi Jewish people. And look up what ish on the end of the word means in the English language. And these Jewish Gentiles will trodden down Jerusalem until the time of the Gentiles is fulfilled. To you, my Gentile family members, the time of our reign has been fulfilled. It is now time for Jacob to rise to the head. Our black brothers and sisters that we have held captive underneath white supremacy for more than 400 years, they are the real Hebrews of the Bible. And what took place in Egypt to the powerful Pharaoh and his kingdom will be exactly what takes place into this mystery Babylon, the United States of America. 
<laughs> as God or the Most High God comes to set his precious chosen children, our black brothers and sisters, the real Hebrews of the Bible. And so there is no Supreme Court ruling. There is no president, no <coughs> army, no intelligence that you can have to hold back the Most High Yah God coming to get his children. Remember, Pharaoh thought he was all that in a bag of chips too. And there you have it, man. I mean, I couldn't, can't say it any better than what he said, man, because this is true. Esau time is up. And Jacob time is finna begin. His, earth, his world is finna end and Jacob's is finna begin. And we're gonna start right there the same scripture that he brung out. Because that time is it. That time is up. It's finna be a shift in power from the, the heathens to the Israelites, man. We're going to start right there. He, Luke 21, 24. Let me see if I can uh, get to it, man. All right. Luke 21, 24 says, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And we know the Israelites have been captive and led into all nations, man. This is undoubtedly talking about you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. It says, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down. See, the, the, the land that we left, it's going to be, it's, tr was, it's trodden down now, man. That's why so much war in that land. And you see, it's, it's, it's um, a great slaughter going on over there right now, man. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down to the, to, of the Gentiles and to the Gentiles and to the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And that's what's happening, man. Their time is it. Their time is up, man. The time of them ruling our nation is up, man. The Lord is going to judge the heathen, man. This is Obadiah 1, and I'm going to drop down to verse 15. <clears throat> he says, For the day of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua is near upon all the heathen. See that? The day of the Lord is near to all upon all the heathen, man. No escape for these heathen, man, and what they've done to us. As thou hast done, see what they've done, it shall be done unto thee. See that? Esau is finna get the same cup that we had to drink, man. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. See that? Your own your own reward is gonna return upon your own head, man. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. See that they're going to be judged, and they're going to, nobody's going to ever going to think about the, the kingdom of Esau. <clears throat> nobody's going to ever think about the kingdom of Esau, man. That's not going to come into anybody's remembrance, man. He says, "But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance." See, the Lord is coming back to redeem His people, man. All the all the, <clears throat> the the curses that we had to suffer, all the judgment we had to all the judgments we had to suffer, that's coming to an end, man. And that's why we push this word out for our people to, to repent, man, because this is what's gonna happen, man. It's gonna be a great shift in the earth, man. It's gonna be a great shift in the earth. And I'm speaking of spiritually, because we know that great shift is gonna be the missiles, but spiritually, man. Our people is being woke up, man. The hopeful elect is being woke up to the truth, man. It says, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Now, who's the possession, man? You heathens are our possession, man. So the time that is coming is your time to, to, to drink that cup, man, of slavery, man. Hardcore bondage, <clears throat> hardcore slavery, man. Verse 18, it says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, the northern and southern kingdoms, and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle 
in them and devour them. See that? Esau is going to go <clears throat> under our feet, man. Under our feet. And we're going to put whole, holy hell on him, man. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. So after that first thousand years, he has be, uh, built up the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Yasharala, the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahushah. It's going to be like he's never existed before, man. It, it, it tells you that in Job, was it Job 20, man? For Yahweh by Shem Yahushah has spoken. And see, these are the words of the Lord, man. The Lord has spoken <clears throat> that Esau is going to go into slavery, man. He's going to be judged. And he's never going to be in power ever again. He's never going to be in power again. So they're going to bring on their their um, NWO, man. And we we we, we waiting for them to hurry up. You know what I'm saying? Because when he moves his hand to to, to go against the, the children of Israel, the Lord is going to lift up a standard against them, man. And <clears throat> brothers been passing around that movie, on which I'm a little winning. I get into it either today or tomorrow. Um, the super, super, uh, I think a super sale, a su uh, super sale, super sale or something. It's on Netflix by Jake having spiritual powers. Lord, when I can start getting into that movie, um, either tonight or tomorrow. This is uh, Ezekiel, and I, and I, I don't know the name of the movie for sure, but it's on Netflix. I've been seeing brothers post it, but I'm going to take a look into it, man. It's easy to look it up if you haven't, haven't, um, heard about it. <clears throat> so Netflix, I think it just came out. I think it's a six-part series. This is uh, uh, Ezekiel 30 and verse 1. It says, The word of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua came again unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, and Thus saith Yahweh by Shem Yahushua power, How ye, woe worth the day. For the day is near, even the day of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua is near, a cloudy day. It shall be the time of the heathen. See that? The Lord coming back is a time of the heathen, man. It's a time of the heathens <clears throat> for their judgment, their judgment, man. There's uh, not only they touch the children of Israel, they touch your house shot, man, during the Roman kingdom. And this is Rome all over again, man. So you, 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 you Edomites, man, don't have a clue what's coming upon you, man. All that pride shit, that pride y'all had a whole month of doing all that wickedness, man, putting it in front of our kids' face, trying to motivate them and, and promote this shit to them. To be wicked and all of the, <clears throat> the you, you having money and having this and having that and having the best houses and the, that's all ending man S several videos going around showing that <clears throat> they're crying about their cre their kingdom is crumbling man so you edomites may have a heavy cup to pick up and to drink down man because the lord said you're gonna drink drink all the dregs sheesh Judgment is coming, man. And you Edomites may have a hell of a cup to drink, man. A hell of a, hell of a judgment is coming to you. <clears throat> this is Ezekiel 35, and I'm starting at verse 5. It says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time of their iniquity, had an end. Therefore, as I live, said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, I will prepare thee unto blood. See that? All the things you've done to us, man. The Lord is prepared, ultimately was preparing you for blood, man. For your own blood to be shed. And blood shall pursue thee. See that? Blood is going to pursue you. Everything is going to be violent around you, man. You're going to have the terror that we had upon our, on our, for, our forefathers. And our ancestors, man, you're going to have that terror, that same terror that they suffered. You're going to have it, man. You, you, you're not going to, you, your life is going to be weighed in a balance, man. Every night, man, every day, your life can be taken from you, man. And you're going to, you, you're going to feel like, well, what, 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 what can I do, man? And you're going to have your head down and wishing that the, the, the Lord have mercy on you today. That's the terror that you're going to suffer as well, man. The same terror that you put on us. It's going to be double in the kingdom of heaven for you, man. Verse 6, it says, Therefore, as I live, said Yahweh by Shem, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Whew. Man, you, thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, man. You're just, you're, your kingdom is going to be destroyed, and you're going to be destroyed, man. 
and I and Slaka and cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with the slain man. See that your your armies are finna be judged, man. And we keep warning Jake, man. Don't go into the army, man. Don't, don't send your kids to the army. Repent to the Lord, man. But the Lord is going to put two thirds in that army, man. He's going to join you on the Esau. Since you love Esau so much, you want him to be in the kingdom of heaven. The Lord is going to show you what he's going to the reward he's going to receive, man. Verse eighty says, "And I will fill his <coughs> his, his uh, I will fill his mountains with his slain man." In thy hills and in thy valleys and in thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. And I will make thee perpetual desolation and thy cities shall not return. See, Babylon and great is going to be destroyed, man, utterly, man. You so prideful about the, your country. You, 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 you got what? You, <laughs> you got uh, Fourth of July tomorrow, man. And this is a prideful Edomite uh, uh, holiday, man. They love... <laughs> The Fourth of July, man, and Jake, shit, he he celebrated too, and he was in slavery in that time, man. So our people are doomed, man. You Jakes, you Blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, y'all are doomed if you haven't repented to the Lord, man. He said, "I will make thee perpetual desolation, and thy city shall not return." See that Babylon, the greatest slave, to be destroyed, man. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. See that you're gonna know this is the Lord, man. You want to know that this is the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. Because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, in, and we shall possess it, as uh, where, whereas Yahweh by Shem Yahushai was there, man. So they possessed the northern and southern kingdom as if the Lord was with us, man. They, they punished us, they ju judged us, they put a fake image of the Lord up. And, and our people sucked it up, man. They still believe that the so-called white man is God to this very day, man. He says, therefore, as I live, save you how about Yahweh shall power, I will even do according to thy anger and according to thy envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. See that? The hatred you use against us, you're going to receive the same exact thing, man. And you thinking that the Lord is coming back to rapture you? You're gonna be raptured into into <laughs> into those thermonuclear missiles first. In that fire, you're gonna be raptured in the fire, man. You eat a mice, you heat is gonna be raptured in a fire. You're gonna be lifted up when the missiles hit the hit the earth, and you're gonna be lifted up into the <laughs> into the into that 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 um that nuclear wind and burnt up, man. Because you believe that the Lord is with you. The Edomites and these heathen really think the Lord is dealing with them, man. But we, we we bring these lessons out for our people, man, to understand, man, the Lord is with you, man. These nations are finna be destroyed, man. And they hate you, man. <laughs> they truly hate you. They show it every day, man. Man, I, I don't understand. You, you sometimes you're like, damn, how Jake can't get it, man. But it's all set up that way, man. It's set up for him not to not to receive this word and for him to be for him to be judged, man. You know what I'm saying? I got family members myself. Like, damn, how y'all can't see it, man? But it's, it's meant to be that way, man. Verse 11, it says, Therefore, as I live, said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, I will even do according to my according to thy anger and according to thy envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them, and I will make and I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. See that? He's for the judge us. I mean, he's for the judge of the heathen, man. And men are going to receive spiritual powers. The Lord is going to, to endow us with those powers, man, to bring judgment on Esau either, man, these, uh, and these heathens, man. So you, you're going to know the Lord is with us, man. The, the men of the Lord, you see on the highways and byways prophesying the Lord's return, you're going to know that those men was truly speaking of the truth, man. They was truly speaking the truth, warning you that your judgment is coming. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, and that I have heard all thy blasphemy, blasphemies, blasphemies, which thou hast spoken against the mountain of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. 
and that's where they that's where these forums and that's why all these different legislations and you had less yesterday the lesson with Trump want to give immunity to um to police officers they're going to know the Lord is, is with us man because they're going to be getting judged man left and right man thus with your mouth ye have boasted against them against me and have multiplied your words against me I have heard them see that the Lord has heard all of what Esau has done man all of what he said his plans it's already figured out man it's already figured out man you, you want to put us in slavery you want to um you want to um uh, come against the men of the Lord the Lord already know what your plans are man he's a million times ahead of you man so he's heard all the blasphemies you said against him putting it putting up uh, putting our people in the mindset of thinking that the so-called white man was Jesus the son of the, uh, of the most high power was Jesus he was a so-called white man, Cedric Bozier. So rap is Christus. You, you made our people go in the ways of, of the wicked, man. So Esau has a hell of a judgment, man. He has a he has a judgment that he can't get out of. 14, it says, Thus save you how by show me how shot power. When the whole earth rejoice, rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. Man, and that's what's well, that's what's gonna happen, man. When the when the Lord brings Esau down, all the other heathen nations are gonna be happy, man. Like the the, the uh, what's that movie? <laughs> Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead, and all the all the all the all the damn uh, what you call them motherfuckers on the Wizard of Oz, the Mitches and shit were dancing. Them I mean, he's gonna be dancing and happy too, man. As thou hast rejoiced at the inheritance of the house of Israel because it was desolate. See, they rejoiced over us being in, in captivity, man. And we still see it to this very day, man. So will I do unto thee, thou, thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all of Idumia, and all Idumia, even all of it, and they shall know that I am Yahweh Bashem Yahweh The wrath of the Lord is coming on two-thirds of our people, but especially on Esau Edom, man. They're going to know that the Lord is, is bringing judgment upon him, man. So all the Edomites, man, all of Idumia. Every single Edomite gonna know the Lord is with the children of Israel, man. The elect of those na of that nation, man. Until you get you know, get into the kingdom, man. But the Lord's wrath is gonna be on Esau Edom, man. man. He has a hell of a hell of a pill to swallow, man, with the big ass cup of judgment to drink down, man. And it's no he's not gonna be able to sign a peace agreement with the Lord, man. Or talk the Lord down from judgment. His, his judgment is coming, man. But our people should rejoice, man, because this is all for the children. This is for the controversy of Zion, man. This is uh, Isaiah 14 and 1. It says, For Yahweh Shem Yahushua will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. See that? You blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, the Lord is going to have mercy upon you, man. And set them in their own land. See that? We're going to go back to our own land, man. And strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua for what? Servants and handmaids. See that? It's time for the Lord to bring our, our, our bring us out of captivity and bring our oppressors under us, man. A role, a, a role, a role, um, reversal man and they shall take them captives whose captives they were see that we was captive under Esau Edom but they're going to be captive under us man and they shall rule over their oppressors that's plain man <clears throat> who was our oppressors Esau man and he was built he was created to be a servant and it's going to be time for him to serve man so so this this uh fourth of July let the, let them have it, man. Y'all can rejoice in that day, man, because this is y'all last holiday that y'all gonna be <laughs> in any type of a festive mood, man, because your dollar is crashing. The um the um the famine is coming, great sickness is coming, the the plagues are, are coming, man. The the MOTB, which is the mark, is coming. These Edomites are going down, man.
And as plain as we can possibly put it, man. So, yeah, rejoice, man, because you Edomites are through. Y'all are done. Y'all are finished. And it's all because of what you did to the children of Israel and touching your how about Shimei Osha, man. So all the, the Noah Harari and in the in the in the heathen in the heathen elite think, well, we're gonna put this in place, this thing on we're gonna put the new L, uh, NWO in place and we're gonna make moves and do this and do that and set up. That's gonna be all fold, man. We're gonna call it fo foiled. Because it's not going to come into fruition, man. It's not gonna it's not gonna accomplish what they had it set for, man. Now I see where what the 2020 20, 30 agenda they moved up to 2025, man. Which they, they don't even have time for that, man. They're, they're moving fast. So the MOTB is coming, man. You see these banks and shit starting to get get um cyber attacked and shit, man. So they're starting to move fast, man, because their time is running out. As in, uh, Revelation 12 and 12. This is uh Joel 3, and I'm just get the point starting verse 6. It says. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, which is the Edomites, man. The, the modern day Edomites. He says, that ye may remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whether ye have sold them. See that? We're in Babylon the Great. See, the Lord is going to raise us up right here. So that's why we don't teach no fleet doctrine. Star with the apostles, the elders, a great millstone on down. That's why they don't teach no fleet doctrine. The Lord said he's going to raise us up right where we was at, man, where we was sold at, man. So this prophecy is going to be fulfilled, man. And I will return your recompense upon your own head. See that? Esau's payback, his payback, his, his, his recompense is going to come on his own head. He's going to be sold. He's going into slavery. He's going to be beaten. He's going to work in, 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 in heat. And, and be beaten and, and, and not be able to rest, not be able to enjoy his children. This is finna come on him, man. This is finna fall upon his own head, man. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the Ju of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, those Hamite nations, man, to a people far off. So, so you're going to come from this side of earth back to the east, man. For Yahweh by Shem Yahweh have spoken it. See that? The Lord has spoken what your plans, uh, what his plans for you are. For you to be sold unto Judah and to be sold unto the Sabians. Which, this meaning you're going to be, the, the, the Hamites are going to be taskmasters over you. They're going to be, we're going to be building up the kingdom. Just like um, these Edomites had taskmasters over us. That these Edomites was on horses and they, you, in the field, you seen roots and shit, man. I got to explain it all the way to the T. But the same is going to be the taskmasters over you because all the nations are going into slavery. But Esau is going to be at the bottom of all nations, man. He's going to be at the bottom of all the nations on the earth. And the Hamites are going to rule over them as taskmasters, man. They're going to rule over them, man. But we're going to be their kings. We're going to be their oppressors. And we're going to have those taskmasters, Hamites, over them, man. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day, man. But you, you you, can say this for sure, man. Man, time, uh, man this, this can't come fast enough. Man. I can't wait, man. This is Lamentations 4. And... Um, and I'm just getting 22 because the, the time is already. Hold on, let me get. I gotta get it anyway. You can't go to Lamentations 4 and 20. Stop and not get 21. This is Lamentations 4 and 21. It says, "Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz." You 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 finna celebrate your Fourth of July. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. And I've been speaking about that, cup, about that cup, so I had to get the scripture. Thou shalt be drunken. And shall make thyself naked. See that? You're going to be drunken with the, with that cup of slavery, that cup of curses. And you're going to be made naked, man. You're going to be ashamed of what you did to the children of Israel, man. The, punish of thy, the punishments of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. And that's what we're telling our people, man. Repent to the Lord. Your time of being in hardcore slavery, under the curses, under bondage, has come to an end, man. He will no more carry you away into captivity. See that? 
the oppressor is ceasing before us, man. And you have to be a part of the elect to understand that, man. He will visit thine and he will visit thine iniquities, O daughter of Edom. See that? See, these curses are going to come off of us and it's going to go on the Edomites, man. He will discover thy sins. See that? All the sins that Esau has committed. The Lord is going to go through them. He's going to sift out all the curses. I mean, not the curses, but the sins that Esau has done. And he's going to <laughs> he's going to get them and make sure he answers every every single sin that he's uh he's committed, man. And you, man, I can think of a million of them off the top of my head, man, from the food to the water to the to the people. You know what I'm saying? Even man, the, the, the alphabet thing. Shit, that's just man. That's that's just a Small fraction of what Esau has done. This is a Deuteronomy 30 and 7. It says, And Yahweh by Shem Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies. And he go back to Deuteronomy. You see all the curses that we had to suffer. And and on them that hate thee. Who, who hates us, man? Which persecuted thee. See, Esau is going to get these curses, man. All the curses in Deuteronomy, he's going he's to get them. And more. Because he's going to get double, man. He's going to get double. This is Psalms 137. Let me get to it. Psalms 137. And I mean, this whole script, this whole psalm goes into us being in slavery. But I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, Remember, O Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, the children of Edom. See that? He's going to remember his sins, man. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, meaning destroy it, destroy it, even to the foundation thereof. See, they want our, our, our kingdom destroyed, man. Time of 70 AD. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed. And o, the daughter of Babylon is America, man. It's not talking about the ancient Babylon. It's talking about the daughter of Babylon, which is Babylon the Great, which is America. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. See that? As you have served us, we're going to be happy when the Lord brings his judgment upon you, man. This is NLT. New Living, Trans no, no, yeah, New Living Translation. It says, O Babylon... You will be destroyed. Happy is the one who pays you back for what you have done to us. Woo. How are you going to get around that? What you have done to us, man. Cut out babies out of our, 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 our wives' stomach. Stomped them and killed us. Man, man, man the list goes on and on. I ain't going to go through it, man. That should get you pissed off, man, because... These motherfuckers have been truly wicked to us, man. Good News Translation says, Babylon, you will be destroyed. Happy are those who pay you back for what you have done to us, man. So Esau has a hell of a judgment coming to him, man, for what you have done to us. You black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, you should rejoice in the time your enemy is going down, man. And we're still prisoners of war, man, until the Lord comes and gets us, man. Verse 9, it says, Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones, man. So you took and dashed our, our children against the stone, cut our babies, uh, cut our wives' stomach open and dashed our babies against the stone with um, Andrew Jackson, the time of... Um, the um the northern kingdom was was going into uh what is it trail of tears, he did, he did the same thing man. Esau will not receive any mercy from you how about Shem Yahushua man. He would not receive any mercy. He would not receive any mercy from the Lord man. I just got a couple more scriptures, but these right here hit home man. This is Job twenty one. And I just want to get the point in verse 30. It says, It says, That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. See that? The Lord is preserving, reserving the 
Esau, Edom, these families, these, these elite families for the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. And that's what we patiently wait for, man. The wicked are reserved for the day of destruction. And his destruction is coming upon him, man. We see it coming. And we know for a fact it's coming. And that's why we rejoice in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shine his word, man. Because we want to we want the kingdom, man. We want to get back to our home, our, our home, our homeland, our holy land. And we want our power to reign with us as well, man. We want our power, we want to be righteous before the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shine, man. To do the will of the Lord, to serve him as we should have from the beginning, man. That's our ultimate goal, man. And now we have an opportunity to repent and return to the Lord, man. This is uh, Jeremiah 33, and I'm going to start at verse 6. It says, Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them and will reveal unto them the, abun the abundance of peace and truth. See that? And that's the hopeful elect is going to receive this, man. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return and will build them as at the first. See that? We're going to be righteous before the eyes of Yahweh Shem Yahweh as before. And I will cleanse the, them from all their iniquity. See that? The Lord's going to cleanse us from all our sins. Whereby they have sinned against me and I will pardon all their iniquity. See that? Being a part of the hopeful elect, your sins are going to be pardoned, man. Whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me and it shall be to me, a name of joy. Ooh, man, just to get back to the eyes in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is joy, man. That, that's a blessing, man. A praise and an honor before all the nations of the earth. See, all the nations are going to know that we are the children of Israel, man. And that's not, that's, that hasn't happened. The, 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 the other nations are not seeing those people in the, in the land now and saying they are honored and praised before all the nations, man which shall hear all the good that I do unto them. See that? People are going to know that the Lord, man, they, man, you see what the Lord did for the children of Israel? This is, going to be, this is going to be worldwide news, man. And they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all their prosperity that I procure unto, unto it. Thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. See, we have, great, we have great blessings coming to us, man. That, that alone should make you want to repent and return to the Lord, man. He said we will fear and tremble. Let's, let's, let's see what another translation, how that, how that comes out in another translation, man. This is uh, Ezekiel 33 and 9, New, uh, New Living Translation says, Then this city, which is the children of Israel, Yasharala, will bring me joy, woo, glory and honor before all the nations of the earth. See, we're going to be a praise in the earth again. The people of the world We'll see all the good I do for my people. Woo. This ain't happened, man. And they will tremble with awe Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. at the peace and prosperity I provide for them. Woo, the peace and prosperity the Lord is going to provide for his hopeful elect, man. Oh, my goodness. That's a man, that's a blessing to even notice coming, man. Good news translation says Jerusalem will be a source of joy, honor, and pride to me. And every nation in the world will fear and tremble when they hear about the good things that I do for the people of Jerusalem and about the prosperity that I bring to the city. Woo, man. Great blessings are coming to us, man. And this is worth this is worth fighting for, man. Enduring to the end. This is man. This is man. This is worth doing a lesson every day. This is worth going to highways and byways for, because we're gonna be a praise and an honor before the Lord once again, man. And all the nations are gonna know that, man. Verse eleven. It says, "The voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, the voice of them that sh that shall say." Praise to you, praise Yahweh by Shem Yahweh of hosts, for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is good. See that? 
the church say uh, the Lord all the time is good, man. We're we gonna know when you're you gonna know when the Lord is good, man. Which the Lord is always good, but you, you understand what I mean because the scripture is telling you praise to Yahweh by Shimei Shai of hosts for Yahweh by Shimei Shai is good and uh, for his mercy endure forever. And of them that shall bring the sacrifices of praise. See that? We're bringing forth the sacrifices of praise of the Lord. Praying in the right name, man. Unto the house of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. For I will cause to return the captivity of the land. See that? We're going to go back into the land. It's going to be beautified once again for us, man. As at the first, see that? Nobody's going to rule over our land anymore, man. As at the first, Seth Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man. So I'm going to end it there, man. Lord willing, I'm getting, I might, might do another lesson, man. It's got to boost my spirit up, man. But I'm going to end it there, man. Lord willing, I'm satisfied. Shalom. Shalom.